Statistics show that one in seven adults has kidney disease. And out of those that have kidney disease, nine out of 10 don't even know they have it. Those numbers are terrifying to me. That means millions of people are suffering from kidney disease and don't even know it. When most of these symptoms show up, that means your kidneys are already damaged. So this video is a cry of warning and a cry of action to not ignore these symptoms. This is coming from somebody who did ignore these signs. In just over a year, I went from learning I had kidney disease to being on dialysis. And this was not an easy journey and it completely changed my life. So if I can help somebody else be able to delay or stop kidney disease, then I feel like all this suffering had a purpose. The first one is hypertension. That means high blood pressure. The heart and the kidneys both work together to move and to clean your blood. So they're very connected. High blood pressure will cause kidney disease and kidney disease will cause high blood pressure. The second is those that have diabetes. Now all that glucose going through your blood affects your kidneys and will damage them. And also having diabetes often will cause hypertension, high blood pressure. So these are all so interconnected. The kidneys have these filters and the blood going through them are absolutely tiny. So any raise in blood pressure or this extra glucose going through will damage them because they're so sensitive and so little. The last one is those that haven't been eating a healthy diet or those that do not exercise enough and are overweight. Being overweight often causes diabetes and hypertension. So if you have one of these, make sure that you're getting your kidneys checked. The first symptom that I wanna talk about is that your change in urine. Now that could mean you're using the bathroom more or you're going to the bathroom less, but it could also be change in the volume. So maybe you're going to the restroom more, but there's less urine is produced. It can also mean a change in color. It could also mean that when you use the restroom, it's foamy. Now people will ask, what does that mean? What does that look like? So when you pour a soda or pour a beer, there's that foam around the top, and that'll be similar to what foamy urine looks like. Now the reason for the foam is that you're leaking protein. So these bubbles or foam, when you use the restroom, they don't pop they don't dissipate, they just sit there. Of course, you can see why these are easy to write off and not pay attention to, because you're like, oh, well, I have to get up in the middle of the night because I drunk more or I'm just getting old or the change in color, yeah, yeah, that's easy to write off and blame on our diet. But if something has changed and it's become the new norm, that is, that is a warning sign that something might be happening. So. Pay attention to your pee. The second sign I wanna talk about is easily fatigued. This could be physically or mentally. So something that you were able to do has now become a little more difficult or you're a little more tired from it could be a sign of kidney disease. And maybe your ability to focus, to really be able to pay attention for long periods of time, you're finding yourself distracted or just not as, mentally sharp as you were before, again, can be a sign of kidney disease. This is easy to write off because you're like, I'm getting older, I've gained some weight, I didn't eat healthy yesterday, or I haven't been getting enough sleep, and that's the reason why. But again, if something has changed and it's become the new norm, figure out why. The third sign I wanna talk about is edema. That means you have extra fluid on your body, because your kidneys not, aren't able to draw that from your blood and get rid of it. So the first places that you'll notice that you've got extra fluid is usually around your ankles and feet, on your fingers, and then also on your eyes. So your eyelids will be puffy, they'll, be, feel, they'll look like they're thicker than usual. And for me, around my ankle, I had it more on my right ankle than my left and it was just below my ankle bone. It was just a little, I'd push on it and it would just it would just be a little bit of extra fluid. Now this is easy to ignore because 
again, I'm like, oh, I had too much salt. And especially around the eyes, I'm just not sleeping well. And not sleeping well is also another sign of kidney disease. So how do you know if you have extra fluid on your body? So this will really show up when you're holding a lot of extra fluid. You can take your thumb and you can push on that spot that you feel like you have extra fluid and you push down hard and you let it hold there for a little bit. And then when you lift up your thumb, if that is still imprinted on your skin, you still have that little dip, then you're definitely holding on to too much fluid. The fourth early sign of kidney disease is change in your skin. Usually it starts to feel kind of dry and itchy and maybe a little bit scaly. It can also mean like you're getting a little bit more pale or gray or your skin is yellowing. For me, I got pale and my skin started to turn really yellow. But before that, my skin was dry. Now I am sensitive to dry skin, so this was easy for me to just ignore and not take care of or not think it was a big issue. Instead, I just started to get nicer lotion and put on more lotion and also my my scalp started to itch so this itching doesn't necessarily mean all over your body it could be a single area or a single spot for me it was more in my scalp and so i noticed it at night when i'd lay down to sleep i just it just be itchy so i just thought oh i better change my shampoo and, and i better use a better conditioner so this was this is also easy to ignore. The fifth sign is having a metallic taste in your mouth or a bad taste in your mouth and having bad breath. You can see why this one's easy to ignore because we'll just be like, oh, I didn't drink enough or it must be that garlic that I had in, you know, yesterday. I found with this is because of this bad taste in your mouth, for some reason, food doesn't have as much flavor as it did before and you'll try to add salt or try to add sugar to your food to make it brighter but for some reason it just kind of dulls everything the sixth sign is weight loss and you can see how it's hard to pick up if you have kidney disease because one of the other um, signs of kidney disease is ga weight gain because of the fluid but this weight loss is unexplained and often you will start to feel kind of nauseous just in the morning and that will go away and also food just doesn't seem as interesting to you i've heard that some people actually are not wanting to eat meat it just doesn't sound good it doesn't feel good you can see again why it's easy to kind of write this off oh well i haven't been eating as much so obviously i would lose some weight now the first one's the easiest one. That's taking your blood pressure. If your blood pressure is raised and you have hypertension, you definitely wanna check on your kidneys. The second one is a test that you can do to see if you are losing protein in your urine. The third test you can do is called comprehensive metabolic panel, I think CMP. And what that will do is it'll check your levels of um, glucose, your sodium, your um, potassium, your calcium, and your creatinine. So that one is very helpful to figure out how well your kidneys are functioning. The fourth test that you can do is called a complete blood count, CBC, and it will check your red and your white blood cell count. Because often when your kidneys aren't working as well, you will find that your iron is low, which means your hemoglobin is low, which is your red blood cells. And that can kind of clue you into something is not right. I did look up Quest Diagnostics. They do lots of lab work with blood and urine. And I think they're throughout the United States and I think in a few other countries. So they have a test called the kidney function test. This is about a hundred dollars and they'll take a blood sample and a urine sample to get a good idea of how well your kidneys are functioning the other test i looked up was the complete metabolic panel and that test will be around 45 dollars now i also mentioned a complete blood count test and that test costs about 35 dollars if you're worried about your urine it looks kind of foamy you can do a test yourself. I looked off of Amazon and you can get a bottle full of strips, about a hundred strips for about $10. And that will check if there's protein, any kind of protein in your urine. Please be proactive. 
over your health. You know your body the best. If something has changed, if you feel like something is wrong, don't put it off. Go talk to the doctor, have these tests done because kidney disease is something that can be stopped and prevented. You are the best advocate for your health. And if you don't do it, who will? Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.